Hi guys, we are going to be chatting with Kavita from Life of Veda and I think she's an incredible, incredible human being and I feel so privileged and honored to be covering so many amazing stories and Kavita's story is that she has adopted a child with Down syndrome and I think it takes tremendous amount of courage and selflessness and um, and, and just and just sheer love, you know, to, to literally be doing this and of course to be living with that decision that we all make every single day. Hi. Hi, oh Maxi. I have just so much respect because um, uh, I've taken a decision um, mm -hmm. which, is, which is irreversible, right? It's, it's tougher than getting a... It's, it's way, way tougher than getting a tattoo on yourself because it will be reversible. But, yes. you know, when you, when you take the decision to have a child, it's, it's a decision for life, right? Yes. Um, so tell us about your journey. Uh, how did Veda come into your life? What were plans before that? How did you and your husband <laughs> decide if this is what we want to do? And and all about it. So actually, there are so many stories in one story. I mean, um, adoption was somehow I was very much inclined towards. But I had no idea that uh, I'll be a mom to a child with Down syndrome, especially with Veda. Of Veda. And um, I was like, okay. Uh, in my teens, I was like, okay, I love adoption. But when I got married, somehow at that time, I told my husband that I don't want to be a bio mom. I don't think so. I'm going to have kids. Ours was uh, arranged marriage. So it was arranged. So in our courtship period, I told him that I don't think so. So he was like, okay, matlab, uh, that's not something, uh, a big thing. I mean, we can talk about it. So I won't say ki he was very positive, but he took time. Thoda, um, I think after marriage, he was quite comfortable with the idea of not having kids. And as uh, we spend more time with each other, so I think in five years of our marriage, we never thought, ki, okay, let's have kid, you know, and we never. So then we decided, okay, I don't think so. We need kids. And even if we do at that time, I told him that uh, we can adopt any time, you know. Uh, I would love to adopt a girl child. And there was and no social pressure like the nani, dadi, chachi. That why not? Every day. Why not? 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 Trust me, Mansi, ek nahi bolungi. I think my whole family is like that because I come from a very orthodox family who believes that okay, girls are for marriage. That's it. You, okay, they can't do anything more than that. That's they believe. So. I'm the first child of my family and oh, they have thought ki, okay she will get married maybe in 10 or 11 months they wanted uh, have me to a child but uh, there was a constant pressure every day they were asking me those questions kuch good news kuch good news but uh, we knew that ki nahi, uh, we don't want kids but somehow when we were in US then uh, life changed uh, a shift happened I came to know about Down syndrome and then it's like um, we have Veda now. So uh, I never looked back. I came to know about Down syndrome and I was like, uh, I think a child with Down syndrome need um, really a place, an environment of family more than every child does need. But in our country, as we know that there is no chance hi nahi hai. Ek, uh, disabled child or a special need hai jisko uska adopt hone ka. So we thought, why not go for a child with uh, Down syndrome? So for months, uh, I was doing research about, you know, um, the features and the issues and the condition uh, Down syndrome is. And yeah, we were quite pumped up. Ki, okay, uh, let's do it. And my husband was like, he is the person who always very calm and has have much more clarity. He was like, okay, give me some time. And uh, when we were in US, we contacted adoption agency in India. Kara, the only way to adopt. And they were like, you have to come to India if you want to adopt uh, because you guys don't have citizenship of USA. Mm -hmm. And um, it was actually a quite uh, tough decision, more than adoption. So yeah, after a few months, we came back. Because pata nahi, was somehow... A, did you move to India because you wanted to adopt? Yes, what? yes. Or you would have just continued to live there? Yeah. We were in US, my husband was on project, but somehow it was shift that now you have uh, idea about Down syndrome and you're so much uh, into it that this is the child we need 
टू अडोप्ट दिस इज अ चाइल्ड वो ध्यान ही नहीं रहा कि हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू ऑल वी वर थिंकिंग एंड आई वॉज थिंकिंग दैट अ चाइल्ड नीड्स अ फैमिली दैट सेट आई वॉज इन थिंकिंग की हाउ एम आई गोइंग टू डू और वट काइंड ऑफ मॉम आई बी और वट एम आई गोइंग टू डू right so tell me what is 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 the adoption process to adopt a child with special needs is it different from the normal process uh the only difference is there is no waiting period child there is no waiting, waiting period yeah generally there is 0 to 2 years waiting period and there is no waiting period for uh, kids with disabilities but tell me having known and studied so much about down syndrome What was it that said? No, if I adopt, I will have to be a child with Down syndrome. I would say that it was nothing technical, but uh, I believe in destiny. I think Veda was calling me. I think. How did you pick Veda, or how did Veda pick you? What was this? <laughs> the adoption center. Oh, our our story is too funny because we just came, we applied, and we thought, okay, it's going to take at least six six months. We had no idea how it works at auction at that time i had no idea about adoption counseling or adoption groups or adoptive parents we just applied and uh, our home study got completed in one month and as we got the notification your home study got completed now you are eligible to get referrals and i had no idea that there is a disability section and i was just checking it out and there was veda i searched down syndrome three to four profiles came and veda was there and i'm like oh my god she is so adorable and uh, i contacted her agency and uh, they shared they said that first you uh, you know accept the child and then we are going to send the latest pictures i we went through her reports reports were missed you know nothing was accurate but we are like okay when we are going to adopt a child with down syndrome why are we looking at reports then and uh, then me and my husband were like yeah she is the one there was something about her and uh, we contacted her agency that we have accepted this child and they are like um, now can you please send the latest picture they shared the latest picture she was gorgeous i mean gorgeous she was 16 months old and uh, yeah couldn't sit at that time but those pictures were so beautiful we are like okay let's bring her home and when we went to meet her they told us you can take her tomorrow <laughs> i'm like what? what i i can't take her. i had no idea what's going to happen next they're like you can take her tomorrow she's legally free and so veda was basically home in 45 days of registration this much time it took in our adoption journey tell me about the night did you have sleepless nights as well <laughs> like yes the same. of course of course we were in hotel and i remember uh, i mean i had this anxiety issues and i was like what's going to happen i don't know i i was more like what if i won't cry what if you know what if i don't connect to the child because i am meeting the child first time watching a picture and loving a child is a different thing what if you don't connect what if you yeah. don't feel the love and thank yeah. god that didn't happen because i i really wanted that okay the love i'm feeling i want to feel the same love when she is in my hands and i yeah. was very much nervous i didn't had my breakfast because i don't eat when i'm nervous and when i met her she was so tiny and since that i never worried what's going to happen before yeah. uh, meeting veda i was very much worried i was more worried of uh, like what am i doing at that time i was thinking i am doing that i am very much confident but you know it's a big change not only becoming a parent but you are going to reveal it to your parents also because at that time they had no so idea that you had not not spoken no, to no, them at no, all at all wow. we thought we thought we will tell but we got only 5 days to decide you know that uh, come koi dar nahi laga ki agar ye log accept nahi karenge or you no. know like You were not okay to break ties with your parents if they wouldn't have accepted Veda. <laughs> I I decided only one thing that my child don't come with a choice of acceptance like yes or no. Either they have to love her or don't love her. They are no one to accept her, you know. So no one in this world is there to accept her. I mean, how can you accept a person or a human? Uh, you have to just include or love them, right? So. initially i have decided that it's never going to happen if someone wants to be near her they can 
people don't want me to talk about veda much when it comes to family or relative when i'm talking and they don't want to listen her story or my story or my journey so i can understand that why they don't want to and there are so many friends of mine who love her but um uh, they they sympathize with her you know whenever she is eating she is happy i can see that people sympathize with her some of my even followers i can see you know so that's why i tell people don't use this line that Uh, you have done such a great job with her yeah you are doing a great job because i'm not she is my daughter yeah. so if yeah. someone knows that she is my daughter they are never going to say this you are doing a great work great effort or a uh, good job you know <laughs> how important was it for your husband to be on board both for adoption and adopting a child with down syndrome how important and what would you tell parents um, you know or, or spouses or partners where one is in agreement for adoption one is not and of course uh, you know irrespective of whether mm, the child right but how do you convince your partner with your ideology i think if you both are on same board then it's it's really good like me and my husband both have same ideologies when it comes to ideologies and beliefs we both are same so that's why he also believed the same thing what i did and it was very easy to convey my message to him but if you think your husband is saying no to adoption for a specific reason like he don't understand adoption he don't understand the process then there is counseling but mm-hmm. if your husband or wife is not able to go for adoption because they want their own kid or my own blood or whatever then i don't think so adoption is the right thing for them yeah i don't think so adoption is for everyone right, right. now i think so yeah it's better because i don't want those kids to have therapies in future it's better right. that you should not go for adoption i just personally and this is mm-hmm. me personally i feel like everything on instagram looks gorgeous yeah but nobody <laughs> sees nobody sees the struggles behind it right tell me tell me what are the struggles like how do you and and really i mean what is it that you find really hard to do because whether uh, you know raising and being a parent is any way to yeah. is hard and and uh, you know is it is it tougher to work with a child with down syndrome yes it does because it's it's really tough for them also you know uh, it's not something they are doing intentionally they don't have a muscle tone to support a low muscle tone and in veda's case she was highly underweight under height everything and with so many uh, physical issues it was really tough for me that's why uh, first thing i did first year i was really struggling uh, because i was listening to a lot many parents second year i did really good and third year i'm more uh, great because i understood that there is no milestone okay so i first of all uh, you know um, put them on the side and why it's tough for veda or kids with down syndrome because uh, first of all uh, the low muscle tone whole body your muscles are everywhere in speaking you know in digest in digestion walking grasping things fingers holding something everything is so and some veda has severe muscle tone so it was really tough for me there was a time when i give i literally gave up on her when um, she was not able to stand for more than 5 seconds it's not i gave up on her i gave up that maybe she won't walk for next 2 3 years uh, she was poor child she was working so hard for 6 months i thought okay maybe now maybe now maybe now uh, maybe she will stand and she was not able to stand and 
it was really hard for one year from past three years i'm taking her to park and she has learned crawling and everything i can see that even stepping her foot on one inch platform was so tough for her right now she can do it on three inch so those who have seen her from day one they can literally tell you that how tough it was for her and it's just not easy for our kids people can be very rude on her like the way they walk the way they talk but it's really difficult for them i wish i wish people can see the struggle or what's going behind the scenes you know right. how do you build a community for parents who will appreciate veda and do you have like a community of friends or kids who have or parents whose kids have down syndrome so you can connect and share mm -hmm. small wins because obviously the other parents of her age are not going to understand as much yes so there is a big community of down syndrome federation in india uh, they all are connected through facebook whatsapp and i know because when veda came home everyone wished me everyone called me they have i think uh, more than 1000 parents so yeah we all are connected every year conferences are happening seminars are happening for information so i don't feel that um, uh, i have to build one more community also i'm very anti social person <laughs> i don't meet people a lot and uh, i had never i never had that issue that people are not accepting they are not accepting with i think they really like to be with her you know there must be times when you must be feeling down and out right you mm. how do you lift yourself or put put yourself together and say that okay like i mean i can tell you for for a fact today my daughter refuses okay just refuses <laughs> to do something which i have to do like three math worksheets which i had made two weeks ago and finally i just I just said that, <laughs> and it happened just before this live, and I was like, you know, I don't think I can do this, right? Um, so I'm sure that when you put, and especially, I feel Kavita, it's a factor of effort is equal to results, right? As parents, yeah. it becomes a very transactional. So, kabi kabi, it's so that that you feel that it's not effort. Dal jo, the result kyu nahi aaya? Does that happen to you? First, first rule of parenting that don't look for result. This is what I've learned in three years. and second yeah. i am a unschooling mom so my yeah. child will be here for next 12 years okay <laughs> kahi nahi jayegi 24 7 wo mere sath hai but yeah of course i yell i yell i scream but my fund is um, never look at the result what you said and i learn a lot from my husband actually so whenever i feel down i'm like okay i am out you are going to handle her today i literally take a day off from her and if uh, that are i'm not feeling good i will yell i'll say sorry and then i will go and take a walk or maybe rest it's it doesn't look that um, calm as it looks in uh, insta or uh, stories but yeah i also lose my temper and uh, first of all you know my child is very very different in that sense she she is such a sweet child but she's so naughty to me only you know uh, because i am the one moms of course and she's so good with her dad and uh, it, therapies and everything there is cry there is you know she cry for hours uh, touch wood she don't throw tantrum but there is crying there is crying a lot of crying so yeah i do need recharge and uh, me and my husband are doing it really well i would say he is the one whenever i'm not there i'm like okay go please take her So I you can't. are managing a toddler plus you decided to homeschool so you are to like <laughs> turn out i don't know how you are doing that at all yeah no look good kar rahe hain ki kab online school khatam ho aur hamare bachche school chal rahe hain and we get like 2 hours of peaceful coffee time so mera <laughs> last 3 years se yahi hai unschooling yeah so <laughs> only how did you, and you said this in one of your uh, instagram posts that you don't believe in the formal education system So yeah. what's your what's your education funda For me uh, right now till she is not 6 7 8 I don't want her to learn about you know uh, those bookish things or subject I want her to learn I just want her to learn ki aaj main kya learn karu Hum logo ne learning ko itna zyada academics aur subjects mein divide kar diya hai ki learning only means you know table math or solar system or colors <laughs> my my child will be 5 and i i don't care she still don't know her colors she don't know shapes 
but she loves uh, you know plants she knows every plant name in our house she knows which one is peas lily uh-huh. which one is what because that's what she likes to you know uh, do she loves to clean the house she loves cleaning she I, loves healthy. i'm only fighting half the time with my girls please keep your room if i actually turn the camera you will like freak that we're in a pile of mess that i'm actually sitting in <laughs> you very so blessed. yeah that that's why unschooling happened also tell me um tell me kavita did you ever think what after us did, because that's one of the biggest concerns that parents have for their children um especially if it's a single child or you know if it is a child with a special need did you ever contemplate on that yes i do uh, i do i don't um, think a lot but i do yeah i do have fear fear of uh, you know uh, leaving her alone or whatever but uh, that's not uh, that's not in my top list ki i'm scared all the time or i'm fearful but yeah i do uh, then again we nobody has seen the future uh, that's also right. one thing i i just want ki okay one of uh, all we can do is just uh, focus on present that's it uh, what to do <laughs> i know people always ask me but veda never knew that her future will future will be us so yes. you you never know the future you don't know right. it okay now we're going to do a fun rapid fire before we conclude this okay. and try to answer <laughs> that in a word okay one unsolicited advice you got from the society have kids <laughs> one most adorable thing every you, day one most adorable thing you do with your daughter dance daily one moment that you wanted to just give up what you're doing to me it just happened two hours ago huh? because of that math worksheet <laughs> ah i always give up on her therapies yeah therapies okay. yeah one moment you thought that made you realize that you were meant to do this when i met veda okay one ritual yeah. that's a daddy daughter time breakfast one thing you... you would want to say to other parents who are raising differently able children Ah, uh, see your child. That's it. Follow your child. Okay. One yeah. thing you're learning with your daughter. Patience. <laughs> <laughs> One value your daughter must have. Hmm, kindness. Okay. One thing you want to say to people who stare at your child. Say hello. Okay. Who creates more boundaries, you or your husband? Me. Okay. um who melts quicker uh, to all the demands you or your husband ah uh, my husband of course <laughs> who is likely to forget things you or your husband me you know he's watching this live huh? <laughs> after after this is over they will yeah right? <laughs> okay one thing your parents taught you that you want veda to um inculcate i i really don't have uh, the answer i have to think i guess maybe um openness yeah Yeah. openness uh, there was no you know the hush hush thing in our house we were open to talk or anything yeah okay uh, biggest 21st century skill your child must have i think empathy <laughs> one childhood memory you love and wish your child could child will have i used to love cooking with my mom yeah when she was cooking i used to sit and eat snacks i still do with my child and i wish we can do it forever <laughs> okay one favorite social media app Instagram I love Instagram kitna time spend karte ho aap I think 3 hours per day <laughs> of one book your child loved uh, the family book and one book that shaped you as a person Osho's uh, Osho's book of children but Kavita thank you so much for joining with us today and it was absolutely incredible uh, to chat same here and I'm so glad that we connected and Uh, I wish you all the very best and look forward to meeting you someday in person and Veda as sure, well. Sure, Mansi. And I'm so glad that we connected and I'm sure that all of this information that you shared is going to be of incredible help to so many people. I hope and thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm.